Hello everyone and welcome back to BE iLove channel. Today we start a great tutorial about all you need to know about attention mechanisms from concept to coding. But in the first step, we need to answer four main questions about attention mechanisms. What is the attention mechanism? Why has it become so popular? What are the different types of attention mechanisms? And how does it play a crucial role in geospatial science? Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, now is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Now let's jump in. Just like our own visual system, the attention mechanism in neural networks mimics the selective focus of the human brain. Picture this, when you look at an image, your eyes don't process the entire scene at once, they zoom in on specific parts. In the realm of attention mechanisms, this selective focus translates into assigning higher importance, weights, to relevant parts of the input data, akin to perceiving crucial details in high resolution. Conversely, less relevant areas receive lower weights, akin to processing them in low resolution. In simpler terms, the attention mechanism is a layer in neural networks designed to enhance the focus of deep learning models on specific data segments. It assigns variable weights to different parts of the input data, allowing the model to prioritize relevant information during processing. Now, let's explore why attention mechanisms have become a popular mechanism in the world of deep learning. Here's why they are widely used. 1. Selective focus. Attention mechanisms allow models to focus on specific parts of input sequences, giving them the capability to prioritize relevant information. This selective attention improves the model's ability to capture essential features. 2. Improved accuracy. By dynamically adjusting the importance of different elements in the input, attention mechanisms contribute to better prediction accuracy, especially in tasks like machine translation. 3. Flexible utilization. The attention mechanism allows the decoder to flexibly utilize the most relevant parts of the input sequence, providing adaptability in handling various types of data. 4. Introduction of memory. Attention introduces a memory concept stored in attention weights, allowing models to retain and utilize information over time, contributing to improved learning and performance. Attention mechanism approaches can be grouped based on four criteria. The softness of attention. Forms of input features. Input representations. Output representations. Now let us explain each one by one. The concept of the softness of attention, also known as deterministic attention, was introduced by Bodineau et al. in their paper titled Neural Machine Translation by Jointly Learning to Align and Translate. This approach considers all input elements to compute the final context vector, a high-dimensional representation of the input elements or sequences. The overarching goal of the attention mechanism is to infuse more contextual information into the computation of the final context vector. In contrast, hard attention, also referred to as stochastic attention, takes a different approach by randomly selecting from sample elements to calculate the final context vector. This randomness introduces a reduction in computational time, a notable advantage. In addition to this, another commonly used categorization in computer vision tasks and geospatial data processing is the distinction between global and local attention. Global attention, akin to soft attention, involves considering all input elements. However, it simplifies the soft attention process by using the output of the current time step rather than the prior one. On the other hand, local attention represents a hybrid approach, combining elements of both soft and hard attention. This strategy involves considering a subset of input elements at a time, addressing the limitation of hard attention, which is non-differentiable, while simultaneously being less computationally expensive. Exploring the forms of input features reveals that attention mechanisms can be classified based on their input requirements into two categories, item-wise and location-wise. Item-wise attention necessitates inputs that are explicitly known to the model or generated through a pre-processing step. In contrast, location-wise attention does not inherently require known inputs. In this scenario, the model must contend with input items that may be challenging to distinguish. 
Given the unique characteristics and features of geospatial data and the tasks it encompasses, location-wise attention is frequently employed in geospatial data processing. This approach proves particularly valuable when dealing with inputs that may lack clear distinctions. Moving on to input representations, attention mechanisms exhibit diversity in their approaches, falling into two primary categories, single input and multi-input attention models. The majority of contemporary attention networks operate with single input models, processing them as distinct sequences. This distinctive model structure is prevalent in current attention network designs. In contrast, the co-attention model is an example of a multi-input attention network. This model concurrently applies the attention mechanism to two different sources, merging them in the final stages. Notably, this configuration proves advantageous for change detection and remote sensing images. Additionally, various processing procedures distinguish these models. For instance, the self-attention network computes attention solely based on the model inputs, reducing reliance on external information. This characteristic enhances performance in images with complex backgrounds by directing focus towards specific areas of interest. Finally, the hierarchical attention mechanism computes weights from both the original input and different levels or scales of the inputs. Also recognized as fine-grained attention, it finds applications in image classification tasks. Now, let's explore the output representations within attention mechanisms. There are distinct approaches in this domain, primarily categorized as single output, multidimensional, and multi-head attention mechanisms. Single output representation is the prevalent approach where attention mechanisms process one feature at a time, computing weight scores for each. In contrast, multi-head attention processes inputs linearly in multiple subsets and subsequently merges them to calculate the final attention weights. This technique proves particularly effective when integrating the attention mechanism with convolutional neural networks. Lastly, multidimensional attention is often employed in natural language processing. Multidimensional attention computes weights based on the matrix representation of features rather than vectors. This method introduces an alternative perspective, particularly beneficial in certain applications. Understanding these diverse output representation strategies provides a nuanced view of how attention mechanisms adapt to different tasks and domains. Moving forward, it's crucial to note that the attention mechanisms explained here share fundamental principles, emerging from researchers' efforts to adapt or enhance the basic attention mechanism for their specific tasks. However, not all these mechanisms are applied in computer vision, particularly in geospatial tasks. In deep learning-based image processing, the attention mechanism serves the purpose of focusing on specific features, locations, or aspects within an image. This functionality broadly falls into two major types, channel attention and spatial attention. The accompanying figure visually represents these attention types. Channel attention network aims to enhance feature layers in the feature map that convey more critical information while dampening the influence of less relevant feature layers. In contrast, the spatial attention network highlights regions of interest in the feature space, effectively masking background regions. These two attention mechanisms, channel and spatial, can be utilized independently or in combination with deep learning methods. This flexibility allows the model to selectively attend to both crucial feature layers and the specific locations of interest. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey into attention mechanisms for geospatial tasks. Stay tuned for our next video where we are going to the practical implementations with code demonstrations. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more cutting-edge geospatial content, and we'll see you in the next video.